Good evening folks, uh, I thought I'd do a quick 5 minute review of this Logitech K400 Plus keyboard which I recently got from Amazon.co.uk uh, for just £17 including delivery. Uh, that was part of the Black Friday deals, it's actually went up in price to £21 now, um, but that's still less than half the recommended retail price of 40 quid. And there are indeed companies here in the UK selling it for that price, upwards of £40 actually. So yeah, a uh, bit of a bargain I think, um, but that, well, that, that's my opinion anyway. Um, it comes packaged in this rather garish spearmint blue box, um, and the only thing really to note from the packaging is that it claims to have 18 month battery life, which is obviously superb if it's true. Um, but onto the keyboard itself, it comes in this rather nice slate grey. Um, you can get it in white, but I think white looks tacky, but that's just my opinion, take it for what it's worth. Um, but yeah, as a keyboard, it works perfectly. It's got quite a nice sound and it never misses a keystroke. Uh, one of the main selling points for me is it has a built-in uh, touchpad and it is a multi-touch touchpad. So you can use a single finger to move the cursor around. But if you use two fingers and move up and down, that will actually scroll your, your web page or whatever up and down, which is quite a nice feature and it does work. Um, we've got nice clicky left and right mouse buttons. And there's also an additional left mouse button up at the top left here. Now this keyboard is normally used or marketed to be used with a, a TV connected computer or a smart TV. So you, you're more than likely to be using this on a sofa. So uh, if we tip it on its edge, we can see there's a ridge here. So when you're holding it, your index fingers naturally rest against that ridge. And it's quite handy just to use your right thumb to move your cursor around and your left thumb to select uh, whatever it is you want to select. Of course, you could just move your left thumb, uh, sorry, your right thumb down, use the left mouse button, but let's like see, it's more ergonomic to do it like that. Quite nice. Um, it does come with uh, media keys. Um, we've got our mute and volume up and down buttons here. Um, and the keys along the top are default. Uh, set to operate as media keys. Um, if you've got this connected to a Windows machine you can disable that and revert them back to function keys or F keys um, but if you're not using Windows you're going to really be stuck with having to use the function key down here holding that down and then selecting your F keys um, that way. Um, not a great concern for me but it is something you might want to consider if you're buying this for something other than a Windows machine. Um, I've already mentioned the 18 month uh, battery life, um, I don't know if that is based on you actually turning it off, I would presume so, um, but I'm not sure if this keyboard has some sort of sleep or standby or power saving function if you like, um, because there is just a single physical power switch with a little coloured sticker behind, red for off, green for on. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if, if it doesn't detect input, whether it goes into a standby mode, uh, I'm not sure at all. Um, so yeah, just make sure you turn it off at the switch uh, when you're not using it. Uh, speaking of power and stuff like that, um, into the, the bottom of the unit, we've got two GP Alkaline AA batteries. Those come pre-installed with a little pull-out tab to you know actually connect the batteries. And there's a little space here which matches up with uh, the little uh, dongle holder, if you want to call it that, little storage area for the dongle. Um, 2.4 gigahertz, it's not Bluetooth. <clears throat> I don't think they do a Bluetooth version. Um, but yeah, the dongle is really, really small. Um, and if you're going to use it for like what I'm going to use it for, which is for Raspberry Pi, um, it's really unobtrusive and you can leave that connected at all times. So what I find quite frustrating is if I'm using, or wanting to configure, say, my RetroPie, one of my RetroPies, because I've got a couple of uh, Raspberry Pis, um, but if I need to configure it, I've got to pull out a keyboard, pull out a mouse, undo all the wires, plug it in, do what I need to do, unplug it, put it away. It's just a hassle. Uh, not a great hassle, you know, I wouldn't lose, lose any sleep over it, but, you know, it's just annoying, isn't it? But with this, I can just leave the dongle connected at all times. It's hidden away. If I need to do some configuration, I turn the keyboard on, do what I need to do, blah, blah, blah. Turn it off, put this away, jobs are good. Really, really um, convenient. Um, but yeah, that's 
you know pretty much why I bought it. Um, you can get cheap Chinese uh, this uh, oval shaped little uh, Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz keypads that have got a D pad and stuff like that on it, but they're really poor quality from the ones I've seen. Um, if anybody can recommend one that's good quality uh, and is going to last, then please do so. But I think this is, you know, Logitech's quite a well-known brand. They do do a quality product um, and their support's generally good as well. I've had problems with, uh, not often, but I've have had problems with uh, Logitech problems uh, products in the past and they've been really helpful and really prompt at uh, resolving those issues and sending me out replacement units such like. Um, so, yeah, you may pay a couple of quid more for it, but... Um, you know, you're going to get that support and, you know, let's like say it is a quality product. I suppose the only thing you could say um, about this and the sort of cheaper Chinese ones is the Chinese ones tend to be smaller and more, you know, sort of games console controller type size and, you know, they're a bit more easy to hide away when you're not using them. But, you know, I would definitely go with this. I'm happy with it, um, you know, and it's, you know, it does exactly what I need it to do. Um, that's about it really, I definitely recommend buying it. Um, if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and um, yeah if you enjoyed this video or found it useful or it helped you made your mind up um, just remember that con about the uh, the function keys and the sorry the F keys and the media keys that might be the only thing that might put you off but you know it is what it is. But yeah please like and subscribe if you, you found it useful and until next time take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.